Yeah, sure. Counter spells never really let me down. Death Ward. All right. All right. Simple there. Rogue two. Also really simple. And finally, Fighter Two gives us Action Surge. Yeah. We, we see. Flame Color. That's your name, isn't it? Uh, color? I'm Fistula. Okay. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Night survives I... out there for long. Don't know how he made it or where he came from. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. Hmm. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell. Yet it has not broken. It's not a physical moment. Daniel, who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is, must I have be no someone idea. important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Let me have a look. Oh, if you know how to get through to him, don't hesitate. Let's see. Basis friend. Continue. He spent a long time in the shadow, Fal. A Sharon realm without color or light. It's had a terrible effect on him. His mind oh. lingers in the shadow, Fel, but perhaps it can be returned. We need to remind him who he is. Some. Personal effects, maybe. Let's see. All right. Okay. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual. Is he a player. bard? Playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. This was in his pocket. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. Is he a human or not? If he does, he isn't sane. What's that in his pocket? Hmm. Looks official. All right, pocket. Information about current activities in Moonrise Towers, environs headed by Catherick Thorne. Thorne fell a long standing deal with these of Salunae, but rumors of the Sharn and Clavin game are rental. Okay. We kept out saying Monsters. No, not till I met R anyway. Okay. It seems to be all he remembers. Thank you. Alright, well.
Nowhere safe. If you need something sharp, I have a few things left. Critical hit, the critical hit should cry damage. This is a contract, there's some temporary hit points. I'll be here if you need anything else. Okay. I don't know what else is there to explore about Selenite, really. You mean to reach Moonrise? And I have orders to help you. The path to the towers is drenched right. in blackness so deep even a torch cannot quell it. Yet the cultists have found a way to move freely. Whatever this method, you must claim it. A cultist convoy crosses the land as we speak. I've readied an ambush. Say the word, and we fly. All right, let's go on that convoy. Splendid. I'll mark your map should you lose the way. Harpers with me. Stray no more than an arm's length from your course. All right, let's do this. Might as well just fall, then we're all going the same way. We're closing in. Looks like there was a struggle here. Okay, so this way. All right, here we go. Oh my god! Oh my god. We'll wait for your signal. What the heck am I doing? Soon. Soon the world will bow to you. Yeah, where boss? Something moved up there. Want me to drag it out? So you can keep watching. Stay in the light. They do not go into the dark. I didn't figure something as big and ugly as you for a coward. What are you? Give me, my queen. But I had to. Before the dark got any stronger. Oh, you're a driver. On you as Man. Been there a lot, seeing a lot through here, but it's also very... Whispering to you. Mm. 
the absolute or just the echoes of his fractured mind reverberating in the darkness of your true souls my queen how have they survived okay uh I burn with pure arcana. How on earth did you survive? Our goddess protects us. We carry our sacred light to drive back the shadows. Oh my god. Yes, Majesty. Your light can shield another of your faithful. They will join us on the road. I don't know. I think okay, let's just take the light first. Let's do it. Blasphemous in the dark. Alright. Alright. Okay. Advantage. Okay. That's fine, though. Watch this. Really? Let's lacerate you, then. Spelled Twin Haste For myself and Asterion. Carnis. <sighs> All right, repelling blast is on. Maybe that's the additional that crack damage to target to submit you your choosing. Requires concentration. Okay. Uh... Turn. 
Hunter's mark on him. Okay. Construction saving throw. Alright. Bonus attack, huh? Guard against the darkness. Ignis. Ah. Good old Ignis. Oh, I know that. Okay. Oh my god, I'm such a net moron. I'm such a moron. Attack range. Carlac advantage. Sure, right? Conditions that defect and then to the attack so I'm gonna see Alright. Directly, but I can harm you indirectly. Oh. 
Now what are you going to do? Jesus Christ. It looks like the one near her. For their trickery, sometimes playful, sometimes malicious. Oh please, oh golly, me oh my! You must release me or I'll die. This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day. Use the magical thing, you disgusting. Dolly thanks you for your sympathy. Now, sorcerer, kindly set me free. I need to curse. If I release you, it'll help me travel to the shadows. It would be my pleasure, truly. Once I'm free, I'll help you too. Oh, man. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own fuck for company. Did me a good turn there, didn't you? What do I owe you? I need to get through this shower curse. Can you help? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. All right. All right. Okay. So So, Blue Rise Towers is now down there, which means we have a long way to go. But... Better than nothing. Shouldn't, yeah, right, it's better than nothing.
I don't know if we're truly ready for Moonlight Towers. But better ready than never. Oh my god, what's going on in there? Let's see here. Shadow Heart. Fi Fi. Must be a playable character. Really interesting. I'm curious then. Okay, Roland. What? Playtime's over, pet. Ah, oh, I love this time of year. The dickheads start popping up wherever you look. What do you want, Mizora? You. Drop the attitude and perk up your ears. You've got a new mission. Really? Absolute cult has gone and grabbed one of Zariel's assets. A devil. And a powerful one at that. They're locked up in the cult's fortress, Moonrise Towers, and you're getting him out. And this is our problem. How exactly? <clears throat> Clause Z, Section 13. Should promised soul refuse obeyance or neglect duty, the pact holder shall cast the promised into a vernus as a lemur. I'll make it simple. Will fails or refuses, 
and he turns to a thick blob of stink flesh and sinks to Avernus. Now, be a good boy and play fetch, pup, or you'll spend an eternity sizzling in the hells. And Zora's words may be flippant, but they are tinged with desperation. She cannot afford for Will to fail this mission. This may be your best chance to negotiate Will out of his pact. Hmm. All right, then. On one condition. Oh, and what condition is that? Your mind links with Will's, drawn in by his increasing panic. What are you doing? You want Will's path to go your separate ways. A doubtful Will catches his breath, but says nothing. And your connection fades. Interesting. Now, why should I go let Because this person clearly means a lot for you. Leash. We really care about devils and contracts. Contempt for waste. Yeah, he's calling it down for his waste. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his leash? Ran, because of her friends. I'll just get straight to the point. Well's been a good companion. And a good friend. Sorry. And care. Man. Yeah. Good. I love Will. Interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet off his mind? Mm-hmm. 
interesting. Now, why should I go letting my favorite pet? Well, trying to save you is. Beyond that, I don't really like. Yeah, about that, I don't really have an opinion on that. There's also high. Butler and I fucking. Oh! The butler and library. Uh, and then. Now, his other stuff's just weird. Now, why should I go like my favorite? Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Like, fucking damn. Oh, this is fun. Letting my favorite pet off his leash. You can think of no way to avoid a devil's pet. Oh my god. Incredible. You actually think you hold the winning hand. Fine. I'll play your game. But I amend the pact once the mission's done, not before. Clause F. Section 9. Soulbinder shall bestow rewards. Yeah, I don't care. This provision. Better known as. Now, to Moonrise, pet. And do you mind the shadows? They've been especially hungry. What I would like to do is just like, do something way more drastic than just follow her orders, but okay. <sighs> The more bullshit she pours, the more of it I'm forced to swallow. Mazora set me on fiends inside and outside the hells. She's never ordered a rescue. Gods. She makes a mockery of everything the blade stands for. Such an asshole. Should we answer enough? Do this make sure Mazora free you. Oh, that's the hunt devil, so. The same thought crossed my mind. I'm only to hunt the infernal, the demonic, and the heartless. But nowhere was it stated that I can't help one. Either we find it, or I made a mindless blob clawing at demons. That's the character there. The so I'm gonna help you out. It's not gonna happen. And it means everything to me. I always knew what my future held. And I know I chose right. All yeah. right, real. Thank you for sticking your neck out for me. Right. I mean it. Love you. But I'm not going to celebrate till I'm actually free. God. All right. She won't let me go without making a fuss. Trust me on that. Yeah, sure. Call the singing father Moonrise Towers. Then we know our mission. All roads converge at Moonrise. Why do they want your father, though? They want violence, they want control, they want Baldur's Gate. Who better than Grand Duke Ravenguard to surrender it? Who better than the commander of the Flaming Fist to dismantle its defense? Okay, that's a good point. They will infect him, and the city's guardian will become its ruin, unless we put a stop to it. To Moonrise, We can't and we won't. The shadows be down. Hell yeah. God damn it! Why did it have to be Mizora? Why did it have to be Zariel? We're supposed to risk our necks to get one of her assets. What if it's a runaway like me? Or something far worse? <clears throat> this last thing we'll have to do for her, I think it's free. 
got to believe that as much as you do. Almost I'm not blaming you for this. I'm just, just saying. There will be more to the story. There always the... is. It's a bad idea to play games with the devil. You'd never win. Not ever. Ugh. <sighs> Holy crap. Yeah, I can't stand like I... Well, no, I can't stand either then. I... Oh, this. Or is this an E? Is this even a letter? Damn language is this? It's infernal. What the hell's you? Wait. Did you say infernal? Yeah, I can read everything around. I... I suppose it couldn't hurt. You run your eyes over the runes hacked into his flesh. And recognize an all too familiar language. Infernal. It's the language of the hells. The lines describe oaths and the fires below. The language is fragmented and strange. This is just a piece of a larger Dang. text. You're a clown. And? Well, no, you're a clown. What does it say? You're, um. <sighs> Something about the fires below. It's just fragments of infernal legalese. Infernal pact? But not even the whole text. What was that bastard up to? Character there, but it's also just... It was even... Hmm. It's more dangerous than we thought. More dangerous than you thought, perhaps. I never had any hmm. doubt. But if I this is part of the contract, thing. it must be powerful. Or valuable. Both. There, but this is really good, and it actually makes a lot of sense. So, worry. Did you ever get Kazaza right in trouble before? No, I could have missed it, of course, but I doubt it. Kazador was only figuratively hellish. There were never any devils hanging about the crypt. Whatever he's left carved in my flesh, it's a mystery to me. Thank you. But I was gonna accuse you. Hey, come on, Melon. What? Well, come on, what? It's something. Never mind. We'll figure out. I promise. Will we? How sweet. Ugh. I don't say anything about. It. All right. Absolute is strong here and getting stronger. I don't know how much longer I can resist it. Okay, but it's good to see you're making progress. Why are you not dressed in armor? This is just really unusual for you. You took an unexpected route here, you did a brave thing. Saving those people in the grove. There wasn't even a choice. They need my help. Not everyone would have helped. It just doesn't stop. We are being bombarded by waves of telepathic energy. Wave after wave with hardly a breath between them. That do I care? I almost dare not rest. Each wave a set of orders to the infected. The order for your transformation has been given many times already. Is there anything to do to help you? I'm afraid this burden is one I have to carry alone. I just hope my powers last long enough to see this through. In any case, the Absolute knows you carry me with you now. It wants to retrieve me. Why does the Absolute want you? I am the only one who can resist the Absolute's influence. Hence its fear of me. It's... It's desperation. 
Unfortunately, that also means it is dedicating more and more resources to my retrieval. The task ahead is monumental. But we're all that stands between victory for the absolute and freedom for all. This is not just about you and I anymore. It has become far bigger than us. You must infiltrate Moonrise Towers, discover the secrets of the Absolute, and put an end to it. So we can finally be free. Now I must rest. And you must carry on. Do not let my efforts be in vain. Alright. Huh. <laughs> I'm bad. Right. Sleeping in the dark, huh? All right. Inspiration. Okay. Well, I apologize for all that safe relay nonsense. Ugh. Monster Blast. Sign Backlash. And Cold Week. Okay. What's the big deal the absolute? His thoughts invade your own, probing for purchase. Your parasite purrs in recognition. Ah, one blessed like myself. What news, true soul? <sighs> well, I may ask the same way as when we rank on guard duty. Who better to suss out his like? You'll find Zarel in the audience chamber, true soul. She'll be wanting to hear from you. All right. Well then, let's not keep awaiting. Yeah. And her name. Praise the absolute. Oh. Yeah, okay. So we're, we're, I'm not going to try fighting these people. Oh my god. And some ghoul sell them out. Alright. Oh, 
That's insane. Okay. I know this part of the game is noted as being Act 2, but it feels like we've finally just reached the... There can be no doubt. This is the place. This is where we'll discover the secret of the Absolute. Right. Another true soul. The disciple will want to see you through the main doors. Where do you... Well, Flo didn't tell a lie. She said you'd find me at here you are. Carl, isn't it? Oh my god. That's a name I'd hope never to hear again. What was Flo doing here? Didn't think to quiz her about her business. Who's Flo? Florenta the Garotta. A Cambian I knew back in Avernus. She was the closest thing I had to a friend. That said, she would have choked the life out of me if I ever turned my back on her. The fact that she knows where I am, where I might be going, doesn't exactly delight me. Yes. No. Uh, what you want for you? Nothing would surprise me. Maybe she, she wants to live up to her name and wrap a cord around my neck. Uh, since I like Grateful Bus. Maybe she just wants to say hello. But I mean, two characters. I wouldn't have given her the time of day, but even I needed a laugh once in a while. What can I say? Yeah, no, I just sorry. Yeah, he, yeah, I think what happens that he just straight stopped me. me like, soul coins. Said I could sell them if I wanted. I don't. But if I kept them for you, she'd consider it a favor owed. Soul coins, huh? This could come in handy. <sighs> Let's have the soul coins then. Sure. But she did have a condition. For every coin you take, you've got to hear the story of the soul trapped inside. There you have it. Flo came all this way just to try to make me feel like shit. Clever use of her time. Memorized a bunch of sad stories on her behalf, did you? Didn't need to. Your flow did some devil woo-woo and stuck them in my head. Oh, God. Can't forget now if I wanted to. You want the coins or not? No. All right. Suit yourself. Have a trade or whatever. Then, what? let's get out of here. She said Karlak might say that. And she said to let her have it her own way. You can take a look at the rest of my lot if you like. Got good weapons in search of a worthy wielder. Oh my god. Better hope you could. Alright. If you have coin, then show it. Oh my god. Get moving, will you? We're in the belly of the beast now. Try not to do anything too heroic. We were both part of Zariel's inner circle. <clears throat> Her by choice, me by force. So long, sir. In the scheme of things, I'm inconsequential to Zariel. Sure. I've got the engine, but I wasn't even her strongest fighter. She favored me like a child favors a captive pet. Uh. And Zora envied the attention, I suppose. I'm sure when Zariel gave her the order to hunt me down, Mizora was delighted. Alright. See why you're so keen to escape. The fighting, the chaos, the betrayal. <laughs> had the makings of a good stage show, but I did not want to be one of the players. All right. You seek arms. I seek a warrior worthy to bear them. Vigilance. Oh, really? Okay. Plus, I'm bonus to initiative rolls and 
to-do list. Let's meet the absolutes. We did as we was told, General. Followed every order. The facts suggest otherwise. You were ordered to retrieve the artifact. You failed to do so. Us? No, no, it was Minfara. She got the orders. She. Enough. A blast of mental but I also really like the whole thing. You, filling the room. Oh no. That's what I want to do. You to obey. Love it there. You failed to retrieve the artifact. You failed to protect your true soul. You Character there was like, okay, you, you got your. Uh, Orders are the artifact, Min Rafa, she got the orders. Alright. Mercy, General! I don't particularly care about this. General Thorne. Let our newest arrival speak. You have seen what these creatures are capable of, and you have seen their inadequacies, isn't that so? What is your judgment? You know I'm loyal! Tell him! Enough! True soul, tell the general how the goblins served our cause. Uh, that voice. That is definitely the voice of Omni Man. That is definitely J.K. Simmons. Oh. Alright. Uh,. Uh Yeah, I saw the horse in your name. Thank you. I'm glad someone noticed. I'm sure they were very enthusiastic. But zeal without efficacy is for children, not servants. We are too close to the ending and the new beginning. I can coddle failure no longer. Kill them quickly. What? No! You creaking old bag of shit! Okay. <laughs> okay. I confess, I've seen this clip before. I already know what's gonna happen. She's an unbeliever outside my control. Try again. Sure. I was alerted by. And. Oh. That's that's brutal. Dispose of the rest as you see fit. Giving them a better yet false hope. Put that true soul to use. You have far more important matters to attend to. Or have you forgotten? Of course not, my lord. Thank you. You heard the general. The goblins are yours. Deal with them however you wish. Uh, sure. 
Here in the seat of the Absolute's power, your authority over them is complete. They will obey any command. Report to me upstairs when you're done. Please! You gotta help me! For old time's sake! <laughs> um... Uh, release now. Oh, praise the absolute and praise her true soul. You did the right thing. I'm sure those nasties deserved a bollocking, but we're no executioners. Let's go see what Zarel makes of it. The seat of the absolute's power, occupied by a general that cannot be killed. But his followers are flesh and blood. Mm. We must learn what fuels his power. 